Okay, welcome to Springfield Butte. This level is hard, especially on Expert. You're gonna have um, tons of enemies. Like, first of all, five purple suited guys right off the bat. Take out all of these guys before moving forward. Trust me on this one. Um, the good news is, if you can manage to beat this level, you might be able to uh, beat the rest of the game because the level after this isn't that bad, neither is the one afterwards, and after that you just have a boss fight, which is, of course, a lot easier said than done. Watch out for this umbrella guy, he will seriously ruin your day like he just did mine. When you're playing survival mode, you do not want to get hit at all. Just watch out for these those uh, fat guys when they come out and they're about to throw their item I usually uh, jump as high as I can and move from the top to the bottom of the screen that's a good way to avoid everyone and pick up this rock this is a very important rock you can use it to kill two umbrella guys and get them out of your way right like really easily I only hit the one guy but whatever um, fighting this Bigfoot creature, uh, just watch out for his jump attack. When he does that, when he does that, uh, crazy spinning, kicking legs thing, he's invincible, I believe. So your jump attack will just get knocked back, so be very careful in fighting him. You just basically want to take him out on the ground. Uh, hitting that tree makes the bees come out. Just avoid the bees by going to the top path, and when they go to the top path, go to the, the bottom path. And ta-da, you've successfully avoided the bees. Uh, something interesting about that hurry up um, finger is that if you wait too long, the finger will actually get impatient with you and flick you. Um, uh, I forgot where it flicks you, I think it just hurts you. And it hurts you pretty bad, if I remember correctly. So don't stay idle for too long. You really do have to be waiting for a while, though, for it to activate. So anyway, uh, stay away from this big rock, because you need two players to, to lift it. But if you can lift it, you can get some helpful food. But if you only have one player and you attack near the rock, sometimes... You will do a grab animation instead of, like, an attack, like what you're trying to do. And sometimes you can get punished for it, so watch out here. And, um, definitely the slingshot is definitely what you want on this section right here. But be careful for the falling rocks. Keep an ear out for them, because I think they, uh... I think you can hear them coming down. Just take your time. This part is pretty ridiculous. If you do not have the slingshot, it is a million times harder. I honestly recommend getting it, and I don't recommend throwing that fish over there. Don't know what happened there. So anyway, uh, just kick this guy in the head a few more times. We're almost done with the level. Once you get past the bridge, you have a helpful food item coming up. So, there we go. Sideshow Bob is going to be helpful to bark for a change. And we have Lumberjack guys, they they look pretty deadly, but actually, they're actually not that bad at all, just... And there are so many throwing items here, you really shouldn't have any problem. And hey, there's so many throwing items, you can even save one for the boss, if you want. I recommend it. So anyway, um, this boss is actually not even that hard. What you want to do is wait for him to roll. Do not attack him until after he has rolled. Because once he rolls, he just stands there and there you can get a free hit. The second part of the boss is watching out for the rocks. In fact, I think most of my concentration in this fight is uh, trying to avoid the rocks. Because the bear, he's not going to he's not really going to get me. I'm just going to grab him after he rolls. He rolls a lot. And also the rocks hit the bear, so you might get a few nice easy hits in there as well. Yeah, so because if you try to attack him while he's not rolling or before he's rolling, yeah, that might happen. And that, that that's kind of lame, so 
Watch out for that. Hey, you think that bear hit that rock. So how many more hits do we got here? Probably about one more. So he's just going to roll. I'm going to get hit, and I barely beat this guy well. But that's okay, because the next level is incredibly easy, except for one part that can pretty much kill you instantly without warning or reason. But we'll see, we'll, we'll see, we'll talk about that when we get there. Uh, in the meantime, we are going off of a cliff. So, uh, very basic cutscene, I'll see you next time, we'll be playing Dreamland. I'll see you next time.